students who are from Ukraine or have close ties there are speaking with LAX 18's Rachel Richardson about how the recent attacks have impacted them. The Jessamine County School District has a large Ukrainian population, and these high school students say the community has done so much to show their support. These West Jessamine High School students have close ties to Ukraine. They each say last week's events took them by surprise. It just kind of hit me in the face of this is really happening. Yulia Latvin came to the U.S. from Ukraine four years ago. Most of her family is still there. She says she worries for their safety. Angelica Yurankin, also born in the country, has lived in the U.S. most of her life. Her brother's wife and son are trying to escape. She says lines are 17 miles long. Her brother is heading to Poland to help. Knowing that he's getting close to that is, like, scaring me because I'm like, I don't you're something that's like a lifeline for me. This school's leaders say its Ukrainian population is the second biggest in the district. The school district and community are finding ways to show their solidarity with this community. We reach out to families a lot. We um, have meetings online with parents and we have an Ukrainian interpreters present. A few of us are trying to learn Ukrainian, which is a difficult language for us, but we're trying. Rachel Shubaruk was born in the U.S., but still considers herself a Ukrainian American. She's very involved in the nonprofit Christian Mission Ebenezer, which has nearly 100 missionaries in Ukraine, some distributing supplies and funds. Americans can turn to nonprofit organizations as this and be able to help and any way they can. These students say their school has growing interest in their homeland, showing support in any way they can. It's bringing people together and to see the school do things like, um, like kind of showing appreciation for the Ukrainians. They're helping, asking questions, like just really like projecting the fact that the Ukrainians are on the side of America, and it's pretty amazing to see. Showing support in more ways than one, in Nicholasville, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.